This movie stars Johnny Depp, or as I call him, the master of white face paint. I'm gonna stop now. The Lone Ranger is directed by Gore Verbinski and stars Army Hammer as the title character and Johnny Depp as Tonto. This movie attempts to tell a more realistic tale of how these guys came together, of how a lawman may put on a mask to do his justice when he doesn't actually believe in guns in the first place, and how a Native American named Tonto can be played by Johnny Depp even though he's not really Native American, but you know what, I don't really care because apparently he might have a little Native American in him, I did some research about it, but it doesn't really matter, I don't really think it matters, it doesn't really matter, it matters a little bit I guess. I just don't really care. <laughs> and the Lone Ranger and Tonto are out to foil this giant plan that involves silver and pillaging and all different types of evil. But the movie is told from the perspective of old Tonto is telling a story to a child, and then we get to see the entire film play out as he's telling this story. And very early on in the movie, you get the sense that this movie isn't really going to make a lot of sense. Because it doesn't. Horses that appear out of nowhere, the Lone Ranger waking up on some giant wooden platform. How did he get up there? How did he get down later? It's never explained. Horses running on top of trains, people jumping like a hundred feet down, landing on flat out rock and living, you know, just all different types of weird things are in this movie that take you out of the experience. But that isn't really my main issue with the movie, it's more just a constant annoyance where I kept getting sucked out of each scene by these weird cartoony events. My main problem with this movie is it's two and a half hours long and it just does not need to be. This movie could have been a half an hour, maybe even 40 minutes shorter than it was. This movie has like three different finales, at least it felt that way, and I kept thinking, okay, it's over now. Oh no, there's another gigantic set piece. Oh, actually there's another gigantic set piece. And I love me some set pieces if they're well made. And this film looks good. It, Gore Verbinski directs a nice looking movie, but it just keeps going on and it keeps going on. And after a while, the action gets so monotonous, and as I said, very cartoony, that it just becomes this big bloated thing. On top of that, another issue I had with the movie was, as I said, this is told from the perspective of old Tonto telling this story to a young child. Yet we continuously see events that Tonto was not present for, that Tonto did not witness. How is he able to retell these events to a kid when he wasn't there? Where are all these scenes coming from? How is he able to retell them to this child? He's a magical ghost, I guess, and in some ways the film does depict him as that. It's silly, it doesn't make any sense. I think Army Hammer is a good actor if he's given the right role, and I really don't think this is the right role for him. He just didn't feel right in this role. And I don't really entirely think it was his fault, I think it was really the idiotic script and the strange tone the film has. I just think it was like Gore Verbinski was trying to recreate the success that he had on the first Pirates of the Caribbean film, which is what he's already tried to do with Pirates 2 and 3, and by most people's eyes didn't really succeed. And it feels like he's trying to do it again. He's trying to create this big gigantic adventure that's funny and interesting and a good time, but also have a lot of serious elements in there. And it just... Uh... And Johnny Depp, although playing a very similar role to Jack Sparrow, and really very similar to a lot of things he's been doing lately, is entertaining as Tonto, and he's likable as the character. And it's not like you sit there and go, oh wow, I really hate watching Johnny Depp in this movie. That's really hard to say. I'm a big fan of Johnny Depp. And he is good as the role. It's just feels so similar to things we've already seen in the past, and it would be great if he would do something a little more grounded again. I want to see him do something else like Secret Window again, or a better movie than Nick of Time, but that kind of performance, like a real grounded person in reality performance. He's really great with that stuff. The Lone Ranger was entertaining from time to time, but for the most part, it was a constant mess of things that didn't make sense that felt way too overlong too bloated and too huge, and characters that didn't really mesh very well, and the chemistry wasn't really snappy like I wanted it to be, because the structure of the movie and the screenplay just doesn't support these larger-than-life elements. Just too much stuff happening, and strangely enough, very boring at times, despite all that stuff happening. I'm gonna give The Lone Ranger a C-. minus. It could have been better, it could have been a lot better, I think, and it wasn't really the type of movie that I was expecting it to be. So thanks as always for watching, guys. If you see the movie, I'd be interested in knowing what you thought of it as well. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.